If you struggle with anxiety, these techniques could really help you. And particularly if you struggle with morning panic attacks, this can really help. And this is Nigel Edwards at UK Hypnosis and Coaching. Now, what's the definition of a panic attack? It's where your heart's racing, you may be sweating, trembling, all of those sorts of things. And that's because the fight or flight mechanism in your brain has been fired off. Usually that would happen if there was a real threat out there, if you were being chased by a tiger or threatened by somebody. But it also happens if you're running a, a kind of film in your, in your head, because your body doesn't know the difference between a real threat and an imagined threat. And similarly, if you're watching a scary film, your body can feel scared and you get the same sorts of feelings. If it's really scary and you're buying into it, you're kind of being entranced into that. Now, first thing in the morning where that sort of thing happens, the body's in that state of shock, but the mind's struggling to find out what's the reason for this. So you need to give the mind some kind of reason to give it an explanation and to break out of that state. So getting up, even if it's early in the morning, is going to help because after a while, you can break the cycle so you no longer just continually keep waking up like that. So rather than stay there in bed, playing that film over and over and increasing those nasty feelings and seeing those nasty what if scenarios happening and rolling out, get up, shake that off. Now to put your, uh, give your, your mind and body an ex a reason to explain what's happening by getting up, you're actually then putting the brain chemistry into the body to say, it's okay. We're up, maybe yawning, having a stretch, and no longer in that state of panic in the body. The mind is then thinking, okay, yeah, we're okay. There's no perceived threat around. We're absolutely fine. And what's more, you can put yourself into a positive state of mind by a simple technique, which we call anchoring. Now, right now, if you could imagine a time some some time ago when you had a really good experience, something that made you really happy or a sense of achievement, something that was really empowering for you. When you can revive that memory and associate into it as if you're really there, really bring in the sounds, the sights, like you would do with a, with a wonderful internal film running in your mind, be there at that moment. Once those feelings are really bubbling up with more excitement or sense of achievement, then get your ring finger on your non-dominant hand and squeeze your thumb and ring finger together and look at that hand. And while you've got those wonderful feelings buzzing around inside you, think of a positive, empowering word for you. Maybe it's brilliant or awesome. Look at the hand, get the feelings going and say that word out loud. Awesome. So you're hearing that, you're seeing this and you're feeling this. You're in Engaging all of your, your modalities, your sight, your hearing and your feelings all together with that anchor state. And do that regularly so you're building up this awesome anchor. So you can fire that off whenever you want to. So you've got up, broke, you've shaken off, you've re revived that wonderful memory, fired off that awesome anchor. And now you're having, rather than anxiety, it's a feeling of excitement, which funnily enough are somewhat similar experience but it's now telling your mind ah oh, we're excited and maybe you're looking forward to something and you can bring that feeling of positivity into something that's going to happen so then you're engaging into something more positive in the future rather than replaying a negative film instead and by breaking that cycle you'll find that you're not waking up feeling that uh, that feeling of anxiety anymore and that should really help by changing that and building in that awesome state of mind and practicing that that help you to overcome these feelings and i hope that helps there's lots more uh, techniques and wonderful ways to reprogram your mind and take control over those anxious thoughts so that they don't control you anymore you can take control and this is nigel edwards at uk hypnosis and coaching and if you want to uh, book a strategy call so we can work out how to work together, then please visit the website ukhypnosisandcoaching.co.uk on the booking page. And it's easy to set that up so we can have a chat about how I could help you to work.
to release those negative thoughts and beliefs for a more permanent and long-term benefit for you. Thank you.